An everyday shortstop for Alabama. Had to play him in center field in the game yesterday. McCants is back in the lineup today. Will Hodo back in the lineup today. And he hit it. Shift is on. The ground ball off of Hines. And it's going to get into right field. And the runner going to hit second and head over to third base. And a single by McCants. And runners at the corners and nobody out in the top of the second. 3-0. Then arm side again. He just cannot find the release point with his fastball right now. Then a ground ball inside the bag at first. Hines will step on the bag, but the run comes in to score. Eblen does a nice job with two strikes. The breaking ball pulled down the right field line, down by the plaza, and it's going to get out of the ballpark. And a three-run home run for Max Grant. And out of the five hits on the season for Max Grant, three have been home runs. And it's a 4-0 Crimson Tide lead here in the top of the second inning. Well, this pitch is center cut, and it's turned around, and it gets just out of the park in that pesky corner. Here's Connor Hyzak, the leadoff for State in the second. And he rips that ball into left field. And a leadoff single. Had a strike within 12 miles, and he's going to be picked off first base. Take a look. Went right. 2-1. That ball ripped into right field, and that ball's gone. A line drive home run for Logan Kohler. He's homered in back-to-back -back days. His third home run of the season, and State is on the board. Now, this is a really nice job of hitting by Kohler. This pitch at the very bottom of the zone, thrown at 93. But able to go and get the low and inside pitch and drive it out of the yard. Well, he's using that plaza area down the right field. It's 11 miles. That ball ripped into left field by Powell on the 3-1 offering. And a leadoff single here in the bottom of the third. Runner goes. Breaking ball. Chopped left side. Third baseman in. Bare hand toss over. Not in time. Throw over to third. And they got Powell hung out to dry. And that will end the end. A little soft line drive into center field. That's going to drop for a base hit. So Petritz, a little soft liner. So it's a humid day. Wind is picked up, blowing out to right field and going the other way and singling through the left side is Cade Snell. And so back-to-back -back base runners to start the Alabama fifth. 3-0. An outside ball four. Now the bases are loaded. Swing and a miss. Kept it away, and Gassetti chased it. A lot of breaking pitches from Cheetah. Ground ball, and off of Kohler. They're going to wave the second runner around. Here comes the throw to the plate, and it's not in time, and two runs are going to score, and Alabama has a 6-1 lead. And off to, into right center field, a base hit. That'll drive in another run. And over to third goes McCants, runners at the corners, and it's a 7-1. And strike three called. Swing and a miss, and that will end the inning. So Luke Dodson comes in. And he goes the other way and singles into right field. LeBron with his first hit today. He was 0 for 3 before that single. Just to the south. Well, oh, nice bunt, first base side. Dotson can't field it cleanly. That's going to be a really tough play for Dotson. Ground ball the right side. Pulliam gets second for one to throw to first, and is dropped by Hines. And strike three called on the outside corner. And a ground ball headed to left field, a base hit. That will drive in a run, an RBI single by Gassetti. LeBron comes in and scores, and it's 8-1 Alabama. Swing and a miss, and that will end the inning.
Four runs early set the tone for Alabama. State scored its only run in the bottom of the third. There's a deep fly ball to left. The ballpark not going to hold this one. Way out of here. Connor Hyzak with a home run to left field, his eighth of the season to make it 8 2. That one just carried 473 feet. 110 off the bat. Wow. Three and two the count. And that ball hit into center field. McCants ranging back. He's at the wall, and that ball is gone. Logan Kohler only had two home runs coming into today. Hit one of them yesterday. And he hits his second today, his fourth of the season, third of the weekend. And it's 8-3. And that one measures 460. Well, he was at double digits with home runs last year at Memphis. Carson Ligon back out on the mound. Mm, that one caught Joe Powell. Two home runs this weekend, making only his eighth start. There's a single pull through the right side. Petrich's man continues to hit it well this weekend. Runner going to go over to third base. And now runners at the corners and nobody out. Ball lifted into the outfield. Ranging over his chance. It'll be deep enough to get the run home. Bryce Chance makes the catch. Runner will tag. LeBron will score from third to make it 9-3 to three Alabama. And the reason you make that point. Swing and a miss, and that will end the inning. So Tyson Harden comes in and gets the strikeout of T.J. McCants. Right-handers hitting just 206 against him. And a hard hit ball past the third baseman Eblen in the left field. And the leadoff man aboard. One for three day for Dakota. He hits that ball well in the left field. That's gonna get past the left fielder into the wall. Runner will score. Dakota Jordan with an RBI double. And it's 9-4. And pass LeBron and into left field. And Dakota Jordan will score to make it 9 5. And Isaac continues to hit it well. So set the timer. Yep. We're going to go into a weather delay in the bottom of the eighth inning on a Sunday. And that's ball four. Swing and a miss and a big strikeout for Alton Davis of the eighth inning to make it 9-5. That's where we are. There's a fly ball sent in the left field. Back goes Chance, and Chance at the wall, and that ball is gone. Bryce Eblen going the other way, his sixth home run of the season. And it's 10-5 Alabama. Well, the bottom of the order continues to produce for Alabama here this weekend. That one got up and got out of the park. Travels 353 feet, it was just enough. A solo home run for Bryce Eblen. A really impressive job by Alabama today. Short-handed this weekend. And hitting the air in the right field. Second baseman going back. And there's ball four. And so Powell, the nine-hole hitter, draws a walk. Up the middle into center field and a base hit for Bryce Chance. Back-to-back -back singles for Chance, who singled in the eighth inning. Ground ball to short. Could be two to second for one. The throw to first, and that'll do it. And Alabama takes game three here in Starkville.